Welcome to our video tutorial on thinning out zucchini seedlings to ensure their optimal growth and development. Growing your own vegetables can be a rewarding and fulfilling experience. And one vegetable that is a staple in many gardens is zucchini. With their delicious taste and versatility in the kitchen, zucchini plants are a popular choice among home gardeners. However, to ensure that your zucchini plants reach their full potential, it is essential to thin out the seedlings. Today, we will demonstrate the essential step of thinning out zucchini seedlings to optimize their growth potential. By selectively choosing the strongest plant and removing the excess ones, you allow to the remaining seedlings adequate spacing for optimal growth and development. The first step in thinning out zucchini seedlings is to identify the strongest one. And the ideal time to thin out the seedlings is when they have grown to be about 3 to 4 inches tall. At this stage, the seedlings are large enough to handle, but their roots have not yet become too entangled. Look for a seedling that appears to be growing vigorously, with a strong stem, healthy leaves, and a well-established root system. This seedling has the highest chance of maturing into a productive plant. Once you have identified the strongest seedling, use scissors or garden shears to carefully cut out the weaker ones off at the soil level. Be sure to cut as close to the soil as possible, and it's important to be as gentle as possible to avoid disrupting the root system of the remaining seedling. Don't discard the thin seedlings just yet. These delicate greens can be used in salads or as garnishes, minimizing waste and adding a fresh, delicate flavor to your dishes. Now, as these remaining seedlings continue to grow, remember to provide them with regular watering, proper fertilization, and attentive care to support their healthy development. Thank you for joining us in this essential guide of thinning out zucchini seedlings. By thinning out your zucchini seedlings, you're setting the stage to allow for proper air circulation, sunlight exposure, and root development. This will ultimately lead to healthier plants and a higher yield of zucchinis. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and share. For more gardening tips and tutorials, subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media. Happy gardening, and see you in the next video.